The following is a demonstration of Reed's rotary cutters and low clearance rotary cutters. Reed's rotary cutters offer customers a safe, reliable pipe modifying system. These large diameter cutters are a Reed invention. The rotary cutter is an ideal tool for applications where a square cut must be achieved safely in tough operational conditions such as in a trench or underwater. They can also be used in enclosed interior workspaces, in noise-free zones, and in overhead or pipe rack areas. Both the rotary cutter and the low clearance rotary cutter use Reed's world-renowned cutter wheel made from shock-resistant tool steel. Designed with the optimum profile for the material to be cut and heat treated for optimum strength and toughness. The rotary cutter's unique long handle design offers maximum cutting leverage, which means less operator fatigue. To reduce downtime in the field, Reed rotary cutters have been designed for fast setup, operation, and disassembly. Rotary cutters can cut cast and ductile iron pipe ranging from 18 inch to 30 inch and 20 to 42 inch steel pipe. The low clearance rotary cutter works on 2 to 18 inch steel pipe as well as 2 to 16 inch cast and ductile iron pipe. Low profile models need only 5 inches of clearance to cut up to 18 inch diameter pipe. The RC20 and RC24 models need 8 inches of clearance whereas the RC30 and RC36 models need at least 11.8 inches of clearance. The RC42 model needs 10.5 inches of clearance. Prior to operating any reed equipment, carefully read the instructions and always wear the appropriate safety equipment. We will first demonstrate the proper procedure in using the low clearance rotary cutter. First, unscrew the turnbuckles on the cutter equally until the rod end eye center is about two and a quarter inches from the end of the turnbuckle. Make sure the turnbuckles are pinned to the proper holes designed for the diameter of the pipe being cut. Disconnect the release pin and place the cutter onto the pipe. Connect the release pin through the yoke section and rod end in the proper location. Hand tighten the turnbuckles evenly until all four wheels touch the pipe. Rotate the cutter once to check the wheel tracking path. When you see that the cutter is tracking properly, tighten the turnbuckles every one half revolution of the cutter. Tighten all the turnbuckles equally to maintain equal pressure on all four cutter wheels for the best quality cut. While performing the cut, maintain as much pressure as possible while still being able to rotate the cutter. Please note that ductile iron needs only 50% wheel penetration to snap off the pipe. With cast iron, only a 10% wheel penetration is needed to complete the job. It is normal for the cutter to begin breaking through the pipe with just one wheel. As you continue to rotate, the cut will grow and eventually complete the cutting procedure. Next we will demonstrate the proper assembly and use of a Reed RC36S rotary cutter. The RC30 and RC36S are generally used to remove or repair used pipe. Safety is a big issue and rotary cutters provide a reliable and effective way to remove or replace pipes that have been contaminated with flammable material. They can also be used for new pipe installations. Start by placing the red triangular saddle approximately 4 inches away from the area where the pipe is to be cut. Secure the saddle to the pipe using the provided chain. Now, place the torque arm on the triangular saddle. Be sure the saddle is placed on the side of the pipe that is to remain after the cut is made. Make sure that the pipe is resting on the ground and then fully tighten the black bolt and nut with the provided wrench assembly. 
Place the upper yoke of the cutter on the pipe with the wheels over the desired cutting line. The grooves and the outer lugs on the upper yoke must face away from the triangular saddle handle. Now attach the lower yoke to the upper yoke. Do one side at a time by sliding the screws into the slots and seating the nuts in the cradle. Tighten the assembly so that the cutter wheels touch the pipe. Next, connect the handle to the triangular saddle by inserting the ground steel pin. Now secure the handle with the washer and cotter pin. Connect the red latch to the ratchet handle pin. Secure the latch with the remaining washer and cotter pin provided. Now ensure that the latch handle has the latch to the left and the triangular saddle to the right. Lift the handle until the latch catches a grooved knob and then pull down. After each rotation, tighten the black nuts with the provided socket handle. Tighten the nut as tight as possible each time to ensure maximum cutting power. When the cut is near completion, stand clear of the falling section of pipe. After completion of the cut, disassemble the rotary cutter and properly store for future use. Please refer to the operator's manual for reference on the use of these tools. This concludes the demonstration of Reed's rotary cutters and low clearance rotary cutters. For more information on these tools or any of Reed's quality products, visit www.reedmfgco.com.